What's up, you guys? Welcome to the channel. Today, we are talking about something very cool stuff I actually just learned about at World of Concrete, and it's kind of new to the market. I haven't really heard too much about it, but it's been slowly launched out into the field, and it's the new Bosch Core, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm still kind of a newbie on the core. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but Eric here is an expert at it. I wouldn't he's, say an expert on He's going to tell us yeah. all about core and why we should use <sighs> core. But no, first of all, yeah. it, it's still 18 volt. It's still 18 volt. It basically, yeah, we are definitely not engineers. We're not going to go into the whole internal workings of it. We're consumers just like you. And without something like this, you wouldn't be able to use any cordless tools. We always go over cordless tools, right? But we never talk about the battery. Right. Right? Core is actually something that's new for Bosch. Um, this is 6.3 amp hour battery. Basically what it is, they use high... Um, like high density cells in there, there's 10 cells in there, so they can actually get more power out of it. With, so you get more power with less weight and a smaller footprint, in essence, is what you get. So it's almost like taking the engine of your truck, replacing it, so you're going to get more power, better gas mileage because you can get longer run time with it, and smaller. So better technology. It's better technology, yep. And them and one other company, the only people using this type of cell right now. Which now, 6.3, cool. so is it a little bit more powerful than your normal 6.0? Oh. It is. It's more powerful. What well, makes um, it more powerful? High density cells. So you get more energy in the cells. In oh, okay, so they can release can a lot more energy at you one time. You get more current running through there. Wow. The way that they designed it, too, you guys know, I think they, um, oh, what do they call these things? Batteries? Yes, batteries. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Cool packs. So the Bosch's are cool packs. Oh, I pack. they call them fat packs. Well, this is a fat pack. The bigger ones are the fat packs, and then they got the slim packs. But it's cool pack. Actually, it's the way they kind yeah, of... Yeah, uh, the little plastic on the bottom. Yep, yeah, yeah. Everyone knows that heat like that actually one. kills batteries quickly. So what they did is they redesigned it so the heat actually dissipates throughout the whole battery. It keeps it cool, which means longer running cells. Cool. Know. And I saw that the uh, uh, bar graph for the battery, fuel status gauge, is different, too. It's got five, five yeah. on it, right? Yeah, which is going to give you a lot better, you know, Accuracy, every 20%. Yeah. yeah. So math. We do math here on tools and actions. That action was right, too. right? Yeah. Twenty percent. Yeah, so you're at twenty. Up. You're at zero to twenty. Then what? I don't know. But <laughs> some of them are like three. No, the ones that are three. Suck yeah, it does. It's thirty-three like, percent. You're like, oh, what am I at? Am I, you know? Yeah, it's like, oh, you push it and you got two bars. Like, okay, I got two bars. I'm a little over half. But you could be right at like the one bar. The one. Right? Yeah. yeah. And the minute you pull the trigger, it's down one. So yeah. it's nice to see a little more accurate fuel status gauge on these things. Yeah. Um. I was going to say, too, Bosch is actually coming out with tools such as this grinder that are designed to be more efficient to use together um, with it, but you can still use this on any other 18-volt uh, lithium Bosch tool. Okay, so that comes with any, you use that on any Bosch tool, but the newer 18 stuff, volt but lithium, not this, does this say core on it, or no? It says HD. HD. Does that mean it's core? Uh, that's a good question. Or it's just like you're saying that all future tools now from Bosch are going to take advantage of the core. They're going to take advantage of it, yeah. So you're thinking like this this grinder could go up against a flex volt for a uh, flex volt. That would be a good tool fight. But you know what? The one thing I did notice with this thing is a lot of times you can cut through metal with grinders with cordless. Not a big deal. But a lot of times you really see the power failure is when you start grinding and you start pushing hard. How did you feel? Like yeah, it was hard to actually stall out. I did put a lot of pressure on it. Um, there are other ones with tested over time. I mean, I feel like you just pushed down a little bit. Yeah, that instantly cut off. This thing definitely took some abuse out there. You know, we ran it for a little while. We were cutting up some stuff. And, uh, you know, personally, I mean, you could see the technology in the grinder, but I, I want to see it in other tools too, just to kind of get a whole broad range of kind of what this thing can do for this platform. <coughs> and I think it would be good during high demand stuff, you know, like rotary hammer, stuff like that, that require a lot of that energy. And radio, so we're going to the radio. Could you imagine, you know, what if, they, what if they released this radio that was just like a, like, like insane, like you know, ten thousand watts just of one battery. How cool would that be? That'd be, be so awesome, cool. Like man. it shakes. I was like, oh, your house is shaking. That'd be nice. one battery. That'd be pretty cool. But we can all dream, right? Actually, we can. You know, there's a lot of noise. Ordinance. Uh, ordinance. Ordinances. Yeah. Or is it ordinance or ordinances? Ordinances. Is it ordinance or ordinances? No. Well, that is, is it, it's, that or, is it. it's ordinance. An ordinance would be like one ordinances. 
I don't, I don't know. know. Now I'm all confused. I don't, I don't know. know. You guys decide. America, let us know. the stuff we have to deal with. You guys, yeah. check it out. What do you think of Corp? Right below, let yeah. us know. It's kind of like we were talking earlier. Like uh, The closest competitor to this would be maybe Metabo with their LIHD, the Lift HD. Yeah, they're the only two who have this actually better technology. Yeah, but I'm sure, you know, uh, you're going to see a lot of manufacturers are going to yeah. start going this route. Well, now. I mean, what's really cool about this thing is you're getting more energy and you're not increasing the battery size. A lot of times you see when people go up from a five to a six, you know, amp hour, the battery's gotta get bigger. This is not getting bigger than that. It's actually- Yeah, where's that, where's that wall one? Um, right there. I got it. You got it? So this actually weighs, <coughs> so this is a 6.3. This is a six uh, amp hour. So obviously 0 0.3, a little bit more, but this weighs, it's a little bit heavier. I don't know, you can yeah, throw it up like, there on there. Yeah. Like, Shave of an ounce. Yeah, and it's not a huge difference, okay? This it is a little a bit shorter, and it's a little bit shorter here and not as tall. But again, like I'm saying, it is a difference. You got more energy and a smaller footprint on it. That's big. Honestly, though, this feels heavier even though it's lighter just because it's more compact size. You're not expecting that weight. Um, but the DeWalt feels like the outside is just airy. Feel it. No, I know. I couldn't. Yeah, it does. Doesn't it? This feels more airy. Like, they could have compacted that case, but they didn't. Maybe well, again, it. though, because you have to realize that, too, on certain things, heat, you have to dissipate that heat. If you have it, you know, I don't know we haven't broken one of these apart, but you have to have some air bubble or something in there so that heat doesn't blow up. Yeah. Cool. Good stuff, you guys. Talk about core. Let us know core, what you yeah. guys think. Comment at the bottom. Um, you know, it's in its infancy, but it's just now, you know, going to start tearing across their platform and... You know, the runtime's gonna be amazing. Oh yeah, imagine a couple of years. You know? Imagine like nuclear reactors. That's what they should do. Nuclear if you can do it on a submarine, why can't you do it on there? Yeah, what's wrong with power right? battery? Exactly. You just throw them out in the garbage area down from right. Exactly. Till the next you guys check it out. Hashtag TA crew wherever you go, don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Tools in action. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.